on guys welcome back to another video it has been a while probably a month and a half two months I've been pretty busy trying to get my video and photography business going I've been working on getting some other drones so that I can make a little bit better quality video and have some more options for clients but I am back and I plan on trying to upload a video every week um, I'd like to do a moto vlog series once a week and maybe a tutorial or another type of vlog um, each week so that'd be two videos a week but I'd really like to get there so I wanted to talk about something today it's just been on my mind a lot um, I don't know how many people actually know this but at the end of December, I left my day job, which I had been at for five years about. It was a great place to work, steady, um, no complaints really. It just wasn't really doing what I've always wanted to do, which is run my own business or be a freelancer or just have more flexibility in my schedule. So I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have considered this. You know, if you're more risky in your mindset, more entrepreneurial, you have a hard time uh, working for other people for long periods of time. And just kind of looking back over the past six, seven months, just thinking through what I would do differently, um, the answer is probably not a whole lot. I think that you can prepare as much as you want, but there's just going to be things that you never expect and you really can't control everything. So I think that being able to jump out on your own is more about your mindset and your determination than it is about your preparedness financially or um, just like your plan. Now I'm not saying it's not a good idea to think through these things. I spent years thinking through this before I actually pulled the trigger on it. So it's not, it wasn't a fly-by-night decision or anything. Um, but it's been tough. Um, it's been a lot of fun. You know, here I am on a Thursday at 12 going to have lunch, ride my motorcycle, which, you know, six, seven months ago, I'd be at work uh, behind a desk in a cubicle, no windows, just having a hard time sitting still. Um, so it was definitely the right call for me. But it is stressful. Ever since I've left, I've had kind of a, a feeling, just anxious, anxiety, uh, that I just didn't have whenever I had a, a job that was just kind of, you could count on, because you're responsible for everything when you're out on your own. So that's something I've just had to learn how to be comfortable with. Um, you know, God's given me a lot of grace and provided all kinds of opportunities um, that have been outside of my own doing, which has been a big blessing, but it's getting to the point now where I really need to start uh, marketing myself and advertising and just planting seeds for the future so that I can create a consistent pipeline of work. And I've just been thinking through like some other um, things to get involved with, um, just so that I don't have all my eggs in one basket. You know, things change, so you always need to be willing to pivot and to do something different, because uh, you can't count on one thing providing your income for forever. I'm getting pelted by rocks by the dump truck, so I'm gonna blast past them. You know, rocks hurt whenever you're not in the car. You're getting rock chips on your face. But yeah, so if you're thinking about doing your own thing, just make sure that you have the risk tolerance. Uh, but I would highly recommend it for anybody who is scared to make the jump uh, to self-employment. You know, I did it with a four or five month old kid. And you know, we have a house and a mortgage to pay for and the average bills of anybody. So there's a lot to consider. My wife still works part time, uh, which is helpful, but my goal is to allow her to step down and be a full time mom. But it just takes more money to do stuff like that. So 
it's an interesting opportunity. You know, in America, we have so many freedoms and privileges. Uh, the fact that you can even do this and be successful or survive is pretty fantastic. So it's definitely uh, not something to be taken for granted because a lot of countries, there's no way you could pull something like this off. Uh, but look forward to more videos. I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this little first-hand view of me riding. All right, but before we go, how about a wheelie? Alright, we'll see you guys later. Peace!